Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode here on the channel of the Two Empires, One Crown Achievement, or One Crown, Two Empires. I don't know what I call it anymore. It's nearly over. Uh, we've only got 40 years left in the game. And I told you last episode I was going to wait until uh, 85 to declare war, just to make sure tensions calm down. However, it's just French Italy and Burgundy that are upset. I mean, yeah, a bit of Europe, so I'm, like, I'm not happy. Brittany's a little upset. Boo-hoo. Nobody really cares. The Jacobite Rebellion in Argyll. Oh, no. There's, 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 there's another Stuart. There's another Stuart on the rise, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we've got... Uh, the question is, though, do I, do I, mmm... Do I, mmm... 226, mmm... I think I might have to do it. I'm going to let the Jacobites win. <laughs> um, so, in celebration of Britishness coming back to Britannia once more, um, I'm having to bring... As you know, these troops are coming in from India. Now, we're going to slap the French around one more time. And we're going to do it a lot sooner than... Oh, my God. Okay, it just completely abused my army to where it doesn't exist anymore. Nice. Um, I'm going to wait for my ships to repair. And then I'm going to send them all the way back to India. I now have to guard two ports in Asia. I have to guard south india and i have to guard china now china's a bit of an issue because obviously it's fresh territory it's new territory although i don't have any rebellions turning up right now only in vijanagar okay that being the case everything's fine don't worry ignore me i'm talking out my butt <laughs> anyway guys if you do enjoy today's episode don't forget to of course click that like button and or subscribe remember we are trying to hit, key term, trying, trying to hit, um, I think I said 5k by Christmas. Yeah, 5k, English works, wonderful. As I was saying, we're trying to hit 5k by Christmas. So if you could share the love, help the channel, you know, grow and prosper and all this fun stuff, the more I can do for you. You know, it works wonderful. Who knows? Maybe in the future, if, if the channel grows quick enough and to a big enough size, I might even be able to pump out two videos a day. It's a big shout. But sometimes a big shout's needed. <laughs> uh, but anyway, get, let's get on with the, with, with, with the goal of today's episode. And that is spanking France. And we're going to do that with the help of Austria, Brandenburg, and the Commonwealth. Boom, boom. Let's get it. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. This is going to be good, good fun. Good, good fun. Mr. William Blake, Mr. Thomas Hawke. And I'm going to go out and recruit one more. By the name of Richard Gloucester. Hello, Mr. Gloucester. Fantastic. Okay, uh, you're, you're just going to sort of roam the lands, I guess. I want them all grouped together. I want them as grouped together as they can possibly get. So we're going to take the surrounding lands and essentially just scare the, the, the French into a cap, really. Um, I want my allies just to try. Key term, try. And have a coordinated <laughs> attack um in to getting rid of venice and tuscany therefore making the french weak foes for us they are blue coat infantry so they are at the same tech as us although they do outdo us on diplo tech and i still haven't found a way to do the culture conversions on the french lands it, it baffles me even to this part it, it still baffles me so uh yeah, we'll just have to sort of do what we do and go as we go. There's not, <laughs> there's not much else I can say. I'll see you guys when there's a peace treaty. Yeah, I, I told you guys a peace treaty. Just to make sure things don't end too quickly. Um, I want you guys to enjoy this real quick. Just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. It's super fun. Okay, right. Uh, what are you guys doing? Can I... Can I... I have to bring you here, don't I? Right, fine. Okay, come on then. Blimey, Nora. It's fine. We'll get through this peace treaty. In time, we'll, we'll, we'll get through it eventually. I do want to try and peace people out as much as I can. Take as much money as I can from people. Uh, you guys go there, and then the other guys come here. Fan dabby dozy. As you can see by the alerts, I am currently being naval invaded. Uh, and the Moroccans are taking land. But you know what? That's perfectly okay. Because <laughs> they're going to be crushed by James Stewart, the future king of Britain. 
Um, <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Everything's kind of going to plan. We just need to maintain this flow and everything will be going absolutely fine. We're in debt, but we're fixing it. We've got a new monarch going through the lands of Britain. We're working on it. Everything's going well. And I won't be a monk. I will be a steward. I.e. meaning I'm bringing back the Scottish heritage once more to Britain. That means when we finish the game, we'll be finishing on a Scottish slash British uh, monarch rather than a Habsburg or anyone else. Yo, I tell you what, these Moroccans are annoying. Like really, really, really annoying. Like driving me insane levels of annoyance. I need to bring. I, I need to bring them to heal. Also, I just noticed that Venice. Where is Venice's capital? Because Venice Treviso has been handed over to the Ottomans. Where is your capital? Hold on one minute. Where have I? Am I taking it? No, it's Treviso. Sorry, Trieste, which has already been taken. So I can technically piece out the Venetians right now. I'm going to take the fort just for good measure. Just because, you you know, you can never be too sure. There we go. Brescia's been taken. Uh, come down to Parma. Like so. Happy days. Siege of Genoa has been won. You go to Luca. You go to Firenze. Okay. Ferrara has been won. You guys come here. That's wonderful. Let's go to Venice. Sue for peace. Hey ho. All your money. Thank you very much, chap. Um, and you know what? You know what? I say... Just for the memes. No, I don't release Napoli because they'll be eaten up in seconds. Um, Just cut ties with, with France altogether. Uh, transfer trade power. No, but give me the war reps. Cheers, buddy. Second British conquest of Nemours. This is the second time we've gone for Nemours? Oh, nice. <laughs> Okie dokie. And now that everyone's sort of been pieced out, it's now time to bring the troops home and to finalize our peace deal with France. We've actually got 99%. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut them in half there in the moor. Uh, that is the last place that I can cut them in half from. Uh, <clears throat> I really want to take Charolais, Fiore Vivere, Dauphin. Okay, just Burgundy, Brittany, Revolutionary France. Cool. <laughs> Try my luck here. I can get away with that on war score. How about here? No. That's the line, apparently. That's the line, apparently. Uh, I don't really want the fort of La Marche, which is why I am treading carefully. Right, okay, that's fine. Give me all the money I can possibly get. Fantastic. Um, and revoke cores. I could get them to revoke the core. Maybe that will help me be able to... Yeah, you know what? Maybe that will actually help me be able to... Um... Yeah, yeah, hold on. Oh, I can't do it anymore. It's just that one. Right, I'm going to play a game of guess. Foi. We're going to go for foi, because I know for a fact I have not culture converted foi. So we'll send that through. Everyone's going to be really, really mad for a while. I'll wait for things to cool down. It's perfectly fine. Turn all the forts off, like so. Come over to embrace, like so. Oh, my admin. My admin. Oh, this is going to hurt. There's going to be so much unrest here in central France. Oh, there's going to be so much unrest. I'm not prepared. I'm really, really not prepared for it. Um, aggressive expansion. Yeah, with Diplo, that's fine. Whatever. It's not like I'm ever going to use Diplo. Although my Diplo is on 10. Right, now that that's been done. Foi. Okay, so it doesn't count the foi. That's fine. Right, now I just need... Now I need to focus on admin. My God. Okay, right. We need to hurry up because we're running out of time to get France. Oh, no, the Stuart Rebellion was crushed by the 13 colonies. No. No. Okay, so things are starting to sort of come together a little bit better now. Uh, we have taken a great big chunk out of France. And remember, we are leaving them literally just with Limousine. That's it. I've left Lyonne because it is a center of trade. And I didn't want to overextend myself in the realms of center of trade. Same with Orléans. But next peace treaty, I'm taking Valois. I'm taking Rheims. I'm taking Nemours and Troyes. Maybe if I can cheese it, take Perigord and Limache. 
And then that means all that will be left is Orléans, Paris, Lyon, and Limousine. Which is fine. I've got no, pro <laughs> got no problem with that at all. Um, although I do have to kind of move ki uh, quick. Uh, Charolais is now part of our thing. That's great. Can I... Let's open that up at menu again. No, I can't do the culture. Again, I, I cannot do the culture for whatever reason. Uh, Norman, I will get rid of. Gaskin, I will get rid of as well. Uh, I can promote uh, Frankian, which I really don't want to do. But I'm doing this to simply try and convert, which is not letting me to do so. So I am very much triggered by that. Um, but you know what? It is It is what it is. Uh, 13 colonies are now trying to get ballsy. They can try me. My patience is a very thin. Very, very thin. They do, I, th I think, do they have their independence supported? No, I don't think they do have their independence supported. So yeah, don't even try it, buddy. Don't even try it. Trust me. You don't want to try it. Um, now, all I need to do is just wait for Europe to calm down. I'm going to pull out the Commonwealth now. Try and calm down the nations of Europe. Uh, so that when this peace treaty is up on the... Where's their flag? Oh, my flag. 1802. Okay, so 11 years. 11 more years. And hopefully by that time... You know what? I'm not going to take any... I'm going to take as many risks as I want. In this time, I'm just going to spend de-debting myself. Finishing the missionary work that I need to do in the Christendom, which is the last one now in Argyle. And then once that's done, I can just vibe, dude. Until we take out France, there's nothing else to do. Like, I would go off to Castile. But at the same time, like, ugh, there's nothing really else to do. Like, I could get France to maybe release these, I don't know, great power. Are they considered a great power? Are France a great power? No, they're really not. They're, they're, they're not even a great power anymore. So I could do, hold on, let me pull out of Savoya real quick. I wonder, break alliance with Tusk. Can I scare Tuscany into, into breaking an alliance? Interesting. Okay. That is, that, that, that is very interesting. I thought because I'm quite the powerhouse, I'd be able to, but no, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, righto. Uh, General Thomas Hawk. Yeah, right. Okay, so all my, all my generals are dying now. They, they, they've they've capped at old age. Uh, French separatists will be rising uh, 90% in High Plateau, Dauphine, Ferez, Angoma, and Vire. That's <laughs> that's absolutely fine. I've got no problem with that. Because um, I've got the money too as well, I'm going to maximize my regiment. So, for example, Flying Battery. I want it to be a 15 4 15. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a 1, 2, 3 here. That's them done. And then here, I want it to be a one, two, three, four, five. Cool. We'll see how the economy can handle that. Hopefully, they can handle it all okay. I'd like to imagine that they can. Uh, let's have a look at my tech as well. So, this is maxed out. Like, next one is the last one, I, I, I imagine. 31 is the last one. <laughs> so, I've nearly maxed out all of my tech for military. Which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Nivane is now part of our territory. Cool. Now, can I culture convert you? Irish, Limerick, I can finally do that. Tamil, Malayalam. That's meh. Right. Also, you know what? I'm going to go over and end Kildar. Better leave it be. Yeah, better leave that be. Um, but I'm going to go end Kildar. Because at the end of the day... Uh, hold on. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Uh, so you're 154. Okay, I'm blabbering. Hold on, give me a second. Okie dokie. So what I was thinking about really doesn't matter. Um, I was just going to finish the job off in Ireland and take out Kildar. Um, but it turns out they're being protected by the Commonwealth because the Commonwealth have proclaimed themselves uh, leaders of the Catholic faith. So I no longer can touch them, which is kind of sucky. But it is what it is. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather take what I've got compared to taking Kildar. So it's perfectly fine. Uh, so join us next episode in 1802 where we'll be taking our second round of French food. Uh, I'm going to try and take these last pieces of of, of, of land here in uh, in the mainland. And uh, yeah, I mean, Burgundy have just announced me as a rival. Can they hack it? Where is Burgundy? They, they don't even exist. <laughs> Meme. Um... But okay, that's cool. Whatever. Um, I'd very much like to just expand rapidly. Like I said, I wish I could use the extended timeline mod, but it's not updated. 
which means I can't fully appraise. Like, if I could go until, like, 1900s, I'd be able to have Castile under my belt. I'd have British uh, Italy. Savoy would be eaten. Burgundy would be eaten. Brittany would be eaten. The world would be our oyster, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not meant to be, not today. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click that like button and or subscribe. Share with your friends, don't grow for the channel. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-da!